Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Nikhil and today we are going to talk about automation. So you started running lead generation ads on Facebook through Facebook lead forms. Now every time lead comes, you actually go to Facebook platform into the lead form, download the sheet and then take the leads and you know, then you process and send it to your sales team or you contact them. So that's a very long process if you see here. What if there is a way you can automate this whole process where whenever uh, you know Facebook captures a lead, it directly comes to Google Sheet, Google Spreadsheet. That is what we are going to talk about today. In fact, the process I'm going to show you is a free process. Uh, it is not going to cost you anything at all. So let's get started. So when it comes to automation, Zapier is what comes in mind, uh, you know, uh, the first thing. But uh, you can go with a Zapier as well. If you see the plans, uh, for, they also have a free plan with 100 tasks a month. But, uh, you know, I do see that there is a 15 minute uh, update time. You know, it like, for example, if a lead comes, it will take 15 minutes for th that lead to come to the spreadsheet, which uh, we don't really want. So there is another alternative uh, tool called Pabli Connect. If I quickly come on to the pricing section. So here is their free plan, uh, which is not going to cost you anything. And it gives you 100 tasks a month. But uh, one of the advantages is that, uh, you know, you get the leads instantly. Uh, you can also go for paid ones. So $10 a month if you pay yearly and a 19 if you pay monthly uh, likewise you get 20 no, 12000 tasks a month so if your lead generation if you're generating less than 100 leads i think you know this free uh, account is going to uh, help you a lot in that if you're generating more than 100 then you can go with uh, this one also but i think uh, for a smaller businesses if you are not generating too many leads uh, this will uh, work out here so uh, just click on sign up for free I'll just click on sign up for free. I already have a Pabli Connect account. It'll ask you to connect. Just connect it with the Google and sign up uh, onto Pabli. Okay. So this is a Pabli Connect account. In fact, if you see, they have an offer also going on. <clears throat> $149, uh, you know, one, one time you pay. It's just a one time cost and you get a lifetime access to this particular uh, you know, uh, automation tool, whereas Zapier doesn't have that kind of, you know, offers here. But yeah, uh, let's come to the workflow. So this is what the dashboard will look like. It says you have 100 tasks remaining, uh, which is free task. So I'll click quickly click on create workflow. I'll name the workflow as Facebook leads to spreadsheet or Google spreadsheet. I'll just say Google spreadsheet. Fine, that's what I'm naming it. And I'll create the, uh, you know, workflow. So the first task we want is we want our, uh, the page, Facebook page to be connected to this, uh, you know, uh, automation first, first step. So that's what we will uh, do. We'll search for Facebook and it says Facebook lead ads. Just directly, you can go with the Facebook lead ads you don't need to connect the page also so facebook lead ads and a trigger event select the trigger event uh, obviously we'll go with new lead instant or there's a new lead as well another event but let's go with the first one new lead instant here and then it'll ask you to connect your facebook account just click on connect it'll give you you know this window here for me it is giving select existing connection because i have already connected to this uh, you know account you can go with a new connection name your connection and click on connect so it'll ask you you know all the details uh, all of those things it says connected done uh, i'll come down to pages section and uh, you know select the page and for me the page is going to be one of uh, my page here yeah so I have selected the page and it is asking me to uh, select the lead generation form. So if you have multiple forms, select the form from which you want to automate the process. Okay. So I'll click on uh, the form which I have and then I need to have a sample data. For sample data, you can go to Facebook lead ads testing tool. Okay. Or let me just capture, save and test and then go to lead facebook lead ads testing and i'll go to this section and i'll choose my page here 
the page which I have selected and the lead form I'll choose here and then click on create lead. Make sure you do it, uh, you know, at once only uh, this testing because this uh, will only work once. It is going to just send the uh, test lead at only once. So I'll create a lead. And if I come to Pabli now, it will capture, it should capture that lead here. Done. So if you see, it has refreshed and it has captured here. So, you know, if, if these are the fields here. If you see, these are all the fields, but I'm mostly interested in email, full name and phone number. Okay. So once the first step is done, uh, we'll click on the next step. Just click on this plus sign or otherwise you will already have this and uh, click on next step and then search for Google spreadsheet. Uh, you'll get this option here and uh, then uh, just uh, select the spreadsheet it is going to ask us the action what action do we want to perform so add new row that's the action we want to perform you have other different types of actions as well uh, but this is the event we want to choose add new row and then it is going to ask you to connect so click on connect and uh, you know i have uh, multiple connections here already connected but for you you will go with add new connection since you are doing it for the first time so uh, go with add new connection name keep it as it is and connect with uh, google sheets okay it is going to ask you to allow a few things check all the things and allow the connection with your google uh, drive account so uh, one thing we also going to do is go to google drive okay and uh, in Google Drive, uh, let me just quickly go to my Google Drive account and in Google Drive, I'll create a new folder. Just click on this, create new and click on folder. It is going to ask you the name, name the folder and I have already created one. So I'll name it as Facebook leads. That's the folder inside that I'll create a sheet uh, which is Facebook lead ad. So how to create a sheet, click on new uh, and then click on spreadsheet and it is going to ask it is going to create the sheet just name it as on top as facebook uh, whatever leads and whatever but i have already one facebook lead ad so that's a spreadsheet inside that what we are going to do is we are going to uh, name the columns as first uh, name email and phone number okay that's what we are going to name it so we'll come back to uh, pabli and uh, this time i will you know, since I have already have a connection, I'll click on Google Sheet connection and save uh, for me. For you, you just connect it and then it is going to ask me select the spreadsheet. I've selected one and then uh, the sheet name, uh, you know, so inside that sheet also, if you see there are tabs. So which is what we are selecting here, a sheet as one. If you are multiple, you can choose whichever you want to update. So sheet one and then name. Yes, so this time it gives me that. And I'll click on uh, in the field name. I want to choose as uh, the full name. This is going to be the full name. And in the place of email, I want to choose as uh, the email, you know, res for email. And in the place of phone number, I want to choose the phone number. So scroll down, come to the section of phone number, done. So this is what I've selected and I'll click on send and test request okay so done one two three this is done let's go and check it out yeah so if you see the data is now available in this sheet okay obviously these are tests so that's why it looks like uh, dummy data but once you have the real ids it'll you know exactly going to look like the real numbers and then uh, every time since we have created a new process a new row it is going to add it in the new row exactly so this is how you automate now you know what you need to do is just you know come back to the section this process is done make sure it is on and that's all that ex ex exactly all so if you see this whole process you know it has not even you know since it was a test it is not even consumed one so once this starts working for every lead it is going to consume one and you will have 100 free tasks if you want to buy more, as I said, you can just spend a little bit more. If you are generating more leads, you know, you can uh, get a lot more access and all of those leads are going to be, uh, you know, uh, coming onto this sheet. 
and you can create multiple new sheets also for example if you create a new one if this gets filled you create a new one come to the automation processes and select the sheet too if the sheet one is you know already filled uh, to a number or you can do it weekly you can do it monthly as and uh, all your lead are leads are coming from facebook so this is how you automate uh, your facebook leads to your spreadsheet give the access to this sheet to your sales team keep yourself the access and you know you can directly call those leads you don't have to now go to facebook every time a lead come i hope this video was helpful you can check out another video also of mine where i am you know showing how to create a lead generation ads on facebook uh, through facebook lead forms you do not need a website for that check out that video i link that video on the top or on the in the description also until next video thank you so much bye bye